Hello students, myself Narendra Kaur, Assistant Professor Mathematics, Khalsa College Patiala. Here I am in front of you to teach the subject Business, Mathematics and Statistics of BCom second year. Our first topic is Matrices and Determinants. We shall start with matrices. First is the definition of matrix. A system of MN numbers arranged in the form of an ordered set of m rows and n columns is called an m by n matrix where each horizontal line is called a row and each vertical line is called a column. What this definition says, what is a matrix? Just suppose we have m n numbers and we have to arrange these numbers in the form of rows and columns. Now what are rows and what are columns? Horizontal lines are called rows and vertical lines are called columns. These are rows and these two are columns. So whenever we arrange some numbers in the form of rows and columns then this arrangement is known as, the system is known as matrix. Now again, we shall study the definition with this example. A system of MN numbers. How many numbers are there? There are six numbers arranged in the form of an ordered set of M rows. How many rows are there? This is first row. This is second row, this is third row. Now how many rows are there? There are three rows. Vertical lines are known as rows. There are three rows. This is M and N columns. N columns. How many columns are there? Columns are vertical lines. There are two columns here. So N is here too. We have 3 into 2, 6 numbers. So we have arranged MN that is 6 numbers in the form of 3 rows and 2 columns. This is first column and this is second column. Now this arrangement is simply known as a matrix. What is the order of a matrix? Simply this M by N. We are writing M by N. This M by N is the order of matrix. So what is the order of this matrix? Number of rows is 3. Number of columns is 2. So this matrix is of order 3 by 2. This matrix is of order 3 by 2. Why? Because there are 3 rows and 2 columns. While we are writing the order of a matrix, we always write number of rows by number of columns. Now next is equality of matrices. Now matrices A and B, we usually denote matrices by capital letters. Matrices A and B are equal if and only if first condition is A and B are of same type. What we mean when we say same type, same type means a and B should have same order. Next is the corresponding elements are equal. Their corresponding elements should be equal. That means the element in first row and first column of A and first row and first column of B should be equal. Element in first row and second column of A and element in first row and second column of B should be equal. That is the corresponding elements should be equal. For example, we write two matrices. If I want to write the equal matrix, firstly, order should be same. This matrix is of order 2 by 2. Why? Because number of rows is 2, number of columns are 2. Similarly, the matrix which should be equal to this must have the same order. That means this matrix should be of order 2 by 2. Now second condition is corresponding elements should be equal. If here is 2, this is first row, first column. Here should also be 2. 
This is first row and second column. Here should be 3, here should be 1, here should be 2. Or simply, if I write some unknown here, that means if these two matrices are equal, then corresponding elements are equal. So this x should be equal to 2. Then only these two matrices can be equal. Now this is the definition of equality of matrices. Next is type of matrices. First is row matrix. As we have studied, matrix is what? Matrix is simply a system or an arrangement where we have arranged the numbers in the form of rows and columns. So if number of rows is 1, we have only one row and number of columns can be any number. Then that matrix is known as row matrix. For example, you have a matrix like this. Here number of rows is 1. There is only one row. And number of columns is 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 columns. That means what is the order of this matrix? Number of rows by number of columns. There are 4 columns. Because number of rows is 1. There is only 1 row. This type of matrix is known as row matrix. Similarly, what is column matrix? If number of columns is 1, then that matrix is known as column matrix. For example, you write like this. Now, what is the order? Number of rows is 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 rows. And how many columns are there? There is only 1 column. So, if number of columns is 1, that matrix is known as column matrix. Next is square matrix. Now, what is square matrix? If number of rows is equal to number of columns, then the matrix is known as square matrix. For example, take this matrix. Here number of rows is 2. Number of columns is 2. That means number of rows is equal to number of columns. Then that matrix is known as square matrix. Now next is rectangular matrix. Now the name clearly shows which type of matrix can be this. Square matrix appears like square. It appears like square. And rectangular matrix must appear like rectangle. And when the shape of the matrix appear to be rectangle, if number of rows and number of columns is not same. For example, you have matrix of this type. Now, number of rows is 2 and number of columns is 3. So the number of rows and number of columns are not equal. This type of matrix is known as rectangular matrix. Next type is null matrix or zero matrix. What is a null matrix? A matrix in which every element is zero. A matrix in which every element is zero is known as null matrix or zero matrix. For example, you can write it like this. All the elements of the matrix are zero. This type of matrix is known as null matrix. This is principal diagonal and secondary diagonal. Now, what is principal diagonal and secondary diagonal in a matrix? The element in first row and first column. The element in second row and second column. Similarly, if a matrix is of order 3 by 3, then element in third row and third column. These elements constitute the main diagonal or principal diagonal of the matrix. Now here principal diagonal is this. This is the principal diagonal. Why? Because this is 
the element in first row and first column this is the element in second row and second column so this constitutes the principal diagonal or main diagonal or simply we call diagonal of the matrix now what is cambry diagonal opposite to it like this this is the cambry diagonal if we use the word diagonal only then mainly we say we are talking about principal diagonal now next is diagonal matrix a matrix in which all non diagonal elements are zero this is the diagonal if we are using the word diagonal only that means we are talking about principal diagonal so this is the diagonal we are saying that all non diagonal elements these all are non diagonal elements if these non diagonal elements are zero and the diagonal elements are non zero then the matrix is known as diagonal matrix next is unit matrix or identity matrix now here in this diagonal matrix if these entries these diagonal elements all are equal to 1 then matrix is known as identity matrix or unit matrix for example identity matrix of order 2 is like this diagonal elements are unity that is 1 and all non diagonal elements are zero this is identity of second order usually we denote it by i2 similarly if we want to write identity of order 3 what we shall do write diagonal elements as unity all diagonal elements are unity and non diagonal elements are zero this is the identity matrix of order 3 which we generally denote by i3 next is triangular matrix now triangular matrices are of two types first one is upper triangular and next is lower triangular now what what is upper triangular matrix in upper triangular matrix the elements above the main diagonal and on the diagonal are non zero and below the diagonal elements are zero in lower triangular matrix elements below the main diagonal and on the main diagonal are non zero and above the diagonal are zero so simply we can say that if non zero elements of the matrix form an upper triangle then it is upper triangular matrix if these non zero elements make a lower triangle then the matrix is known as lower triangular matrix this was all about the types of matrices we shall continue with algebra of matrices in our next lecture thank you